Hey everybody, it's Grillin' and Chillin' with Al again, and I'm back for another fun cook. But before we get started, I just want to say a couple things. I want to say thank you to all the subs that have subscribed to this channel. Today, I've had almost 40 new subscribers um, hit my subscribe button. And I want to say thank you to you all, and especially thank you to the ones who started with me in the very beginning. Without you, any of you, this doesn't happen. So thank you so much for that. Now, now it's time to talk about what we're going to do. It's Super Bowl. We're going to have a Super Bowl coming up here real soon. And it's, I'm going to make an appetizer. I'm going to make one that I hopefully is a game changer for you. Because let's be honest, anytime you go to a Super Bowl party, everyone brings the same thing. They bring either a little smoky, they bring a seven layer dip, they bring chips and salsa, they bring cookies, they bring uh, even homemade popcorn, which I've done. And guess what? I love all of them. I do. But sometimes you just got to elevate your game to the next level. So today's cook we're going to do for you is we're going to make a cheeseburger bacon wrapped onion ring on the Traeger. And we're also going to cut up a beef tenderloin and pack it in the onion ring as well and do a taste test just to see what the difference is. So stay tuned because we're going to go over the ingredients next. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to need. We're going to need two large onions, a cup of shredded mixed cheese, a tablespoon of minced garlic. What we have here is 80-20 hamburger from the Circle 2 Ranch, which is a steer I bought this year. Prime Angus beef, amazing. We'll need some bacon. I'm also going to take a beef tenderloin that is, I'm going to cut up into small pieces and pack it into the onion ring. And then, of course, we're going to try today some kitchen bitchin' seasoning. And I got this from a family friend whose mom and some of her partners started it over in Seattle. And it is really amazing. We've had it on some steaks already. So let's get started on getting this prepped up and ready to go. We'll get this set up. Gonna take the one tablespoon of minced garlic and the cheese, one full cup of the mixed cheese, and just mix it up into the burger. We'll take some of the kitchen bitchin' seasoning. about a tablespoon and just mix it and then we'll make another bowl with the steak and do the same thing oops some of the fat And then we'll just keep slicing it up until it's in ground chuck style beef. Take it together, keep, and just keep slicing. Okay, we've cubed up the steaks. We're gonna go ahead and add some seasoning. We're gonna add some cheese. And I'm gonna go get some minced garlic.
let's just mix it up and then we'll get ready to slice in our onions. All right, let's get going on the onions. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the root. We're also gonna take off the tip. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to take slices and make them about three quarters of an inch thick. Try to make sure you get them as straight as possible. Let's just clean them up. Okay, so to make your onion rings, you're going to remove the layer of onions, starting with the top one, if you can get it out. Set the second one aside, take the third ring, and you're gonna use that place in the first ring. Okay, now it's time to pack your cheeseburger inside your onion ring. So we'll get the rest of these done and then we'll get them on the Traeger. This is the beef tenderloin that we'll try as well. Okay, so we had to switch gears a little bit. Um, I bought a lower cut of bacon and it just became too difficult to try to wrap the onion rings. So I switched to the Kirkland brand, which is definitely better. It's a lot thicker. So basically, you're just gonna slide the bacon through the onion ring, loop it up, push it down, tighten it, and try to get a consistent um, rolling of each of the bacon on the running rings, onion rings, excuse me. Again, just slide it through, start at the top, give it a little tug so our pattern is consistent. And there you go. That is much better. All right, I'm gonna finish these up Go get the Traeger set at the temperature I want, and we'll go outside here in a second. These have been sitting in the fridge 
since last night, and we're going to get them on. Now, you see what good bacon looks like versus bad bacon. So make sure you get good quality cut bacon when you do this. Now we're going to come back in one hour and see how these turn out, even that ugly one. So yesterday when I was shooting the video, I actually misspoke on the name of the seasoning. Uh, the name of the season is actually called Kitchen Bitches. All right. And if you want to check them out, go to bitches at kitchenbitchesspice.com. And they're a local, local company out of the Seattle area, and they do an amazing job. So I just wanted to make sure you all knew that I was calling it the wrong name. So I've got an hour just to kind of wait for this to cook, so I guess I'll pour myself a nice little whiskey seven. Oh, thank God I have a backup. Cheers. See you in an hour. It's been an hour. These need to go a little bit more, about another 15 minutes. But they are looking good. So we'll check back in 15 more minutes. We're going to taste test these. I did half with the glaze, the pineapple habanero glaze, and the other half just left them alone. And we're going to dip them in the fry sauce. So I got the hamburger with the pineapple habanero glaze. I'm just gonna try it like this first. That's awesome. You don't even need to dip it in the fry sauce. Let's, uh, let's just try one without the glaze. And I got some of the steak one. So I'm going to just try it with the fry sauce. Oh, both are good. Hey, thank you for watching this today. Thank you for all that have subscribed. And if this is your first time watching Grilling and Chilling Without and you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And drop a comment down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. Be safe at the Super Bowl this year. If you want to bring an A-game appetizer, this is the one you want to do. All right? Until next time, thanks for watching Grilling and Chilling with Al, and we'll see you again.